someone else's name on it. You are not a tailor anymore, you know. You can't walk into that bank looking like a tailor. Why? It's an honest profession. Yeah, but I made you that suit so you don't look like you need that money. I don't need that money. We have each other. We have each other. enough. But I like that money. <laughs> the store isn't going to build itself, you know. Nobody cared about diamonds, deodorant, or a host of other products. But we invented a need for them simply by telling shoppers that they were irreplaceable aspects of everyday life. And people believed us. <laughs> Every product has an image, a soul. Products are not bought for a particular purpose, but for the values it embodies. Our possessions are extensions of our personalities, which serves as a kind of mirror that reflects our own image if we can make people feel inadequate. Will you please? Of course. And turn the radio off. Hit that song. You made the same mistakes again, Ray. I told you before, page five. Okay, I will change. You always say that. I will. Do you think we are going about this the right way? What do you mean? You know, Mrs. Tan, she can get quite soft. Do you think she's Egyptian cotton soft, goose feather soft, or memory foam soft? <laughs> goose feather soft! Young as nine, work in the fields. Children assembling toys. Some as young as my nephew, where are their parents? Half of them probably don't even know themselves. A nine-year-old girl was dropped off every morning by her father, who worked in another factory two doors down. She said, when I become sewing operator, I'll make very good shirts, and no one will yell at me. That's how big she dreamed, to graduate to sewing operator. Children sewing in their underwear. No childhood, no wage, no safety, no daylight. Sadness, this grief, we, we escaped. Things may have changed. We work hard now, Everybody just like we did. Everybody works hard, mate. I don't want to do this anymore. We can't just walk away. Too many people depend on us. They'll be fine without us. They were better off before we came. They didn't have jobs. They couldn't feed their families. We helped them, gave them... We make them want things they don't need. Who needs a $5,000 dress? This whole thing has just become... I don't... There are people who work for nothing to make that. And take we, care of everyone here, I'm please. not just talking about here, Ming. I'm talking about people... There are people who... We don't need another store. I don't want this anymore. CM, we need you downstairs. Please, don't go. I, I can't. Look, there's a line a mile long. People are standing in the rain. Look, let me just... CM. Now, I'm coming. We'll get through today and then we'll talk about this, okay? Gina Silver, 15, managed to walk away safely with a balloon containing $25 gift certificate for sushi. It was crazy. Everyone was jumping and screaming, get the balloon, get the balloon. I'm glad I got one, but I don't know if I'll do it again. In what first seemed like an unrelated case, the body of an elderly shopaholic was found underneath a pile of clothing and other items purchased at a behemoth sale after she died of natural causes. The woman's two-bedroom apartment was so crammed with purchases that it took five rounds to her house before she was found. Police said the woman's body was found in the bedroom under a substantial pile of clothing and other items.